are sitting in Rucola Cafe. It's an Italian place, simple cafe style, which is five minutes walking distance from our office. So today I would like to tell you about why do some women not attend uh, a foreign affairs social. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that most of our women uh, they like parties, they like have fun, they like all social events, uh, including those that a foreign affair conducts. Uh, some of them just uh, been, have been on these socials and uh, probably they didn't like atmosphere because of too many people, uh, too noisy, too crowded, um, lots of dancing, contests, and uh, some women feel embarrassed to uh, approach to the man uh, because there are so many other beautiful women uh, and um, they may be shy or they may, may feel not comfortable to do that by themselves uh, and even if they approach to you uh, they will probably not have enough time to talk to you to answer all the questions to tell all the stories about her life uh, that's why such ladies prefer one-on-one -on -one introductions and very often they just say yes, I'm interested in this man and I'm ready to talk to him personally, go for a date with him, have fun, go to some a cinema, theater, opera house, restaurant, whatever, walking on the street, you know, or in the park, but not in the social. So people are different, you know, and that is why probably some women feel more comfortable when you uh, talk just with her and um, there is no pressure of uh, uh, hundreds of other women who are standing in the line uh, just to win your attention and to, to talk to you for a while. Very often people just don't plan even to go for social and find a foreign boyfriend but they just get together, they feel chemistry, their eyes just meet and that's it, that's it. They just find each other and they start to establish relationship. We had many cases like that and I remember clients who went to uh, Italy right after the end of the social, they just went to the website, they offered uh, and booked the tickets and uh, right on the next morning they went, they fly to with uh, his new uh, girlfriend to, the, to Italy. They spent unforgettable vacation together and they were very happy. I know another guy who just um, was very, very frustrated and because he lost his wife uh, because of cancer and he was in despair, he was very upset, he was down. And he told us, no, I will not go to this social because I don't need it. I just came here to change atmosphere, to talk to other people, not to sit at home, not to be depressed. That's it. I don't need a new wife. And then he just he entered the room, the hall of the social, and he saw her, his future wife, actually. And she was also sad and she was depressed and she was almost crying. And he noticed her. He read her grief in her eyes and after that they started to talk and she was a very nice lady, genuine, very serious, very open-minded, very kind and they created a family and now they have a baby even though they didn't plan to have a baby. But miracles happen. You, you may go to your date and meet her halfway to your point of meeting. It happened also in the past when we arranged a, a date in cafe, but the couple met each other in the grocery store 30 minutes before the date. So our main task, our company and our staff, our team, to get together lonely hearts on the same website, on the same platform and on the same place. And then it's up to you and up to probably destiny how you will meet your lady. I'm sure you probably have some other questions to me, to my staff, to my colleagues, and we will be happy to answer them. We will be happy to see you in Kiev. We are waiting impatiently for uh, the 
finally the time when you can easily come to Ukraine and I'm sure we will see all of you guys here in Kyiv soon. Welcome to Ukraine!